Today on Morning Markets, we're looking to the week ahead when the US non-farm payrolls will be the key focus for markets. So as we look to the week ahead, there are some important parallels with the, the start of this month and that of the start of August, which the team discussed on Friday. In particular, when we got the July jobs report at the beginning of August, it was the catalyst for some weakness in asset markets as concern rose about the trajectory of the US employment picture. This week, it'll be back to the same again. We'll have a big focus on employment data from the US as we build into the week with the, the JOLTS data, but also critically on Friday, the Norm Farm payrolls report. So we'll be looking to see how that plays out. It's critically important for this month because it could be the factor that helps the Federal Reserve decide whether they're going to reduce interest rates by that 25 basis points or 50 basis points. So a crucial piece of economic data coming out on Friday. If we look to the rest of the, the regions, there's not a lot of data that we're expecting over the course of the week. If we look into it to Europe, probably a little bit of the industrial production, uh, German factory orders data will be in focus just to see if we're starting to see any tentative signs of improvement within Europe. Some of the consumer data has pointed to slight improvement, but nothing um, significant. And that probably neatly ties into data in Asia, where we've been looking just this morning at some of the Chinese PMI data. Again, the official data for services and manufacturing not showing significant improvement in that economy at all. That's also backed up by the private sector manufacturing data as well this morning. And it just goes to serve and to highlight really the real challenge that we're seeing in China, both from an ongoing deflationary impulse coming through the economy, but also the challenge that the government and the People's Bank of China are facing in trying to stimulate that economy. Cast your minds back to, to the beginning of the summer, some action was taken, but again, not very evident in terms of the data that we're, we're picking up. We'll leave it there for today, but please do, as I said at the beginning, sign up to our YouTube channel to keep in touch with the content that the team are producing. This video is not a recommendation or personal financial advice. With investing, your capital is at risk. Investments can fluctuate in value and you may get back less than you invest.